Welcome back to Career in Shorts with Upgrad. In the last video, we covered the skill sets required to become a good data analyst. Now, this time around, we'll take a more holistic view at all the data professions such as data analysts, data engineers, business intelligence professionals, and data scientists, etc. And how one role differs from the other. A word of caution here, by the way, is that data analytics is still an evolving field. And hence, these roles are slightly loosely defined and can vary from one organization to the other. But still, we'll give it our best shot to put them into buckets so that you have better clarity. Let's take the example of an e-commerce company. And in context of this example, let us try and understand all these different types of job roles. Let's start with the job role of a data engineer. A data engineer would create the platform and the data structure within which all the data from the users would be captured. For example, what items they buy, what is in their cart currently, and what is in their wish list. Data engineers have to make sure that the captured data is stored in such a fashion that is not only efficient, but is also easily retrievable. They are comfortable in working with varied data sources, write ETL queries to collate data from all of them, and then organize all of this data in data warehouses or databases so that others in the company can make best use of it. To become a data engineer, you need to acquire knowledge of languages such as Python, Java, SQL, Hadoop, Spark, Ruby, and C++. Now, all of these are not mandatory, but they vary from company to company. As a data engineer, you would be sitting at the rare combination of a software engineering professional and a data analyst. Now that we have talked about data engineers, let us talk about where data analysts come into picture. Data analysts are expected to draw insights from the data which would directly impact business decisions. Data analysts are directly involved in day-to-day -day business activities and there are a lot of ad hoc analyses that a data analyst or a business analyst is expected to do. For example, again going back to the example of the e-commerce company, a data analyst in an e-commerce company would help the marketing team identify the customer segments that require marketing or the best time to market a certain product or why the last marketing campaign failed and what to do in future to prevent such mistakes. Hence, for a data analyst, a good understanding of business, data, and statistics is essential. The tools and languages that will be most commonly used by you as a data analyst would be Excel, SQL, and R, and in some cases, Tableau also. There might also be a data visualizer or a business intelligence professional who is responsible for creating weekly dashboards to inform the management about weekly sales of different products, the average delivery time, or the number of daily cancellations of orders. Now let us talk about a data scientist. The data scientist, the rare gem, would then use the data that has been existing in the organization to design business-oriented machine learning models. As a starting point, data scientists can go through the available data of the company to look at various buying patterns, identify similar items on the website, and also identify similar users. Then he will create algorithms around the same so that the website can automatically recommend products to the users based on their navigation histories, purchase histories, etc. Now, this solution has to be effective enough that it can predict the future purchases in real time for visitors of the website. Now, the way this is different from data analyst role is that data analysts are expected to perform a lot of ad hoc analyses, which can facilitate decision making within an organization. Data scientists, on the other hand, not only perform ad hoc analyses and create prototypes, but they also create data products that make intelligent decisions by themselves. And this is where machine learning becomes extremely critical. For example, the suggestion you get after you buy a particular item or on the basis of the items that you have on your wish list are because of machine learning models built by data scientists. The requisite skill for a data scientist is knowledge of algorithms, statistics, mathematics, machine learning, and programming languages such as R, Python, SQL, SAS, and Hive. They should also have sound business understanding and the aptitude to frame the right questions to ask and find the answers in the available data. Finally, a data scientist should be able to communicate the results effectively to the team members and all the involved stakeholders. Now that we have discussed the major roles in the analytics industry, I hope you have some clarity on what these roles are all about and what employers will expect from you 
if you opt for one of these roles. In case you have any further queries, do write to us at analytics at upgrad.com and we'll make sure to answer them. Meanwhile, this is Rohit Sharma, Program Director at upgrad.com, signing off.